Hi guys, in this video we're going to make poop from the new Emoji movie and I'm going to start by icing my cake board. So I've got some yellow pre-dyed icing and I've just put a thin layer over my cake board. I've just made sure that my cake board is bigger than the cake I'm going to make and you can make it whatever size you like. We're just going to shade the edges a little bit using a dry brush. My brush is losing a few bristles so just be careful about what brush you choose to use. Just make sure if it does lose any bristles you remove those. So we've gone all the way around the edge with an orange and then I'm going to catch the very edge with a deeper red or oh, this one's an aubergine that I've got. I've printed off the image I want to use now just got my image a little bit wet in the corner there but it's fine for what we need. I'm going to draw around this on a cake board so a thin cake board so I can cut through it. I'm going to cut the cake board out and now we're going to use our template that we've cut out earlier to draw around onto a piece of cake so just make sure your cake is a little bit bigger than your stencil. So I've marked that all the way around with the knife and then I'm going to cut that off a little bit at a time. If it crumbles a little bit, just stick it in the freezer for 15 minutes to firm up your cake, then you can try cutting it again. And I'm going to stick it to my cake board. Now, I've actually used chocolate ganache on my cake board, but you can use buttercream. And you'll see I have actually got two layers of cake with a bit of buttercream in between. Apologies, I did forget to film me putting the buttercream between the two layers. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start cutting a little bit of shape into the face by trimming a little bit off sort of the very edge so the edges are a little bit more curved and a little bit removed from under sort of the flick of the top of his head. I'm going to go all the way around the edge of that head, removing just a little bit. I'm going to put my template back on and I've cut out his eyes so I can see where they're going to go and I'm going to put a little mark through those with my knife and then I'm going to cut those out a little bit of an angle so we're left with two little dips. I'm actually going to go slightly bigger than the eye holes were on the template. We're going to do the same with the mouth, making sure I've cut it out nice and deep in the corners. I'm using ganache to cover mine in, but if you prefer you can use buttercream. I'm going to get a nice thin layer all the way over. Now try your best to smooth it out the best you can. Mine's got the odd little lump here and there, but I think that should be okay like that. I'm going to let it set and we're going to start by adding the teeth. So I've got a piece of white fondant that we've rolled thin and I'm going to cut around the mouth. So I've removed the mouth from the template. I'm going to use that as a guide. I'm going to stick this into that little gap. Now I've got a bit of chocolate on his teeth from the ganache. Just try and push that into the corners. With a knife, I'm going to mark the top and bottom set. So just a line across the middle. I'm going to darken the edges of the mouth. I've just got a dry brush and a little bit of edible food dusts. Again, I'll put links in the description box below showing you everything that I've used. And we'll neaten up this mouth once we ice the face itself. Now I've got some pre-dyed fondant. Now this one's actually a chocolate flavoured one, which is quite good because I've got a chocolate flavoured cake. Now it's a little bit dark on its own, so I've just added a bit of white fondant to it. And then we're going to roll that out. Keep rolling until you know it's plenty big enough to go over the cake. And I've got a few air bubbles in it, so I will pop those out shortly. Just gently with your hands, give it a rub down all the way around the cake itself, concentrating on sort of under that little hairline bit, if it's his hair, in the eyes and around the bottom edge of the cake. And I'm going to remove the little mouth area, so you might have to put the template over the top to work out where it was again. And we'll just play around with the edge of that slightly. Just neaten up that top bit in a minute as well. Bringing the line slightly further out from the edge of the smile just slightly into the face and I'm going to cut all the excess off from around the bottom of the cake and lightly mark where those eyes were again. I'm just using the back of my knife just to make a really quick mark and I'm just going to make sure those eye holes are deep enough. You can use the handle of your knife or a rolling pin or even just your fingers to indent the space where those eyes want to go. And on the picture I printed he does look like he's got a little bit of texture. I don't know how well you can see it on the video but I've just got this texture mat. Again I'll put links from everything I use in the description box below. We'll do that over his face and I'm just going to add a little bit more of this black edible dust into the edges of the eyes and then we're going to create two ovals in white fondant and pop those in those eye holes that we've made and I'm just using the eye I've cut out from the template as a guide so I can make sure they're about the same size. Same for eyelids now. Use the template as, as a guide and I've rolled a very rough oval and I'm going to cut across there. I'm going to mark where my eyelid wants to go. I'm going to cut a circle of black. And we're going to do the same for both eyes. Now I've stretched it slightly when I've put it in the eye so it's a little bit more oval. And I'm going to put the eyelid on. Now 
it just looks a little bit small so I'm going to stretch it out slightly with my fingers then I'm going to put a bit of texture on just slightly and then we'll push that into place on the face do the same with the other one and I've just created like two little slim rectangle shapes in white to stick in the corner of each eye so that's going in the black bit of each eye and I've got my colour dusts again this time on a slightly damp brush and we're just going to paint these just under the eyelid and around the edge of the eye just there's a bit of shading and then in the black on the eye to give it a bit more shine I'm just using an edible gloss moving on to the eyebrows I've got a dark brown and I'm using my template to cut around to make sure I've got it to the right size and shape we just want to texture it with some little lines running across so I'm using my knife for that just running it across slightly diagonal and then we'll pop that in place if it doesn't want to stick on its own just stick a bit of water or edible glue at the back of it do the same for the second eyebrow just keep looking at your template for where they should go once you're happy with that I'm gonna add some dusts again so these are the edible food dusts I'll put links below to where you can find them these are the rainbow dust ones so I've got dark brown and a bit of black mixed in together we're going around sort of the outside edge with a large dry brush and then you can use a smaller brush to get the shading in around like the mouth and just under the little flick on the top of his head also around the eyelids I'm just gonna pop him onto my cake board you can use a bit of buttercream on your cake board or chocolate ganache to stick him in place with I'm adding a tiny tiny bit of brown to some white for the colour for the bow tie we're gonna squish two little triangles I'm just doing them by hand you don't have to use a triangle cutter just hold them near your template so you can see if they're a similar size a little bit bigger but they're okay just using my paintbrush handle to put a couple of little dents in towards that inside corner so it looks like he's got a bit creasing on that bow tie I'm just gonna cut a tiny bit off the point off the inside of each one and I've created like a little soft cube shape it's gonna be for the center I'm gonna push that cube shape on first off under where the chin would be then I'm gonna push either side of the bow tie on I've just put a little bit of water at the back of it just to make sure it sticks in place and I've got some more of that brown food dust that I was using earlier mixed with a tiny bit of water just so I can paint a little stitching line on either side of the bow tie then we want to use our off cuts of brown that we used for the face to create arms and legs so I'm rolling two thin legs leaving a bit at the end where the foot is a little bit chunkier I'm going to bend that foot upwards keep them nice and slim just add a little bit of water to the back of them stick them onto the board careful you don't put them in the wrong place because the water will mark that colored dust on the board then we're going to give him his hands next and we're going to do this by making individual little fingers so little sausages just do them one at a time and I'm going to stick them on the edge of the bow tie be careful they're not too big because if they're really big the weight of them will pull the bow tie off so the top finger we're going to do is the largest and then we're going to get slightly smaller as we come further down see if we can bend that little finger so on that last one I've made it a little bit longer again but put more of it around the back and some of it at the front so his little pinky looks like it's bent upwards and for the arms themselves we just want really slim spaghetti and we're going to start it from under the body and we're just going to bend it so it comes up and sticks behind those fingers that you've added like so so there he is all done and you can do him in whatever size you like hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.